Nasty Bird here. Uh, I'm going to do a review, which I, I guess I thought I did this one before, but I guess I didn't. Turtle Titan <laughs> Michelangelo. I found this at the Swamp Meat on the very, very, very bottom of the plastic barrel because, you know, they have toys on top of toys on top of toys. I digged around, I f came across this, and I finally found one loose because I have another one still in this package back home in Colorado my dad's place. So let's do a little close up on Turtle Titan. Alright, so here's Turtle Titan up and close. Um, somebody asked me what I thought about the makers of the 80s and today, uh, not today, well, yeah, today's and, uh, how do you call it, the 2K ones? Well, honestly, to my opinion, I didn't like how, I didn't like that fact that a 2K3 version didn't have any imagination to make their faces different. They're always the same as the original. They just put different, uh, costume on them. And I was kind of disappointed in that. It, I will put the review on that one. I have, um, the... Sports Turtle ones, so the 2K ones, they're all the same faces, but they paint them differently, so Raphael would be Dontel, and Dontel would be Leo, and stuff like that. It's hard to explain. But, I like this because his, his smile is way different. He had a, you know, a smirk on his face, like, hey, <laughs> A very cool um, hero costume, I think, on this. It's T T. <laughs> you see the T T. <laughs> Sorry, Turtle Titan initials right here. As you can see, the the cloak part goes around and his shell. Puts a touch to this. And he made his muscles a little bit skinnier in this one too. However, look at the the handprint right here. Like his. I don't know what he's trying to prove, like he's pointing his fingers at him, like ha ha, or something, I don't know. Of course his weapon holder right there, his little turtle shell, shield, I should call it. And it's what I call it, the um, Puss in Boots, uh, boots thing, whatever you want to call it, or the Apocalypse Boots, whatever you want to call it. And, da -da -da -da. 2004, more student playing with toys, made in China. Um, yeah, so the the main part is extremely rubber, which oh, I also want to say I'm glad this is still on. The belt, every time I go to like the swap meet, the belts are always gone. But, um, the part that is actually fully rubber is, of course, the belt part. This, the cape part is very rubbery. As you can see, it's shown on the back. No weapons holding holder for his nunchucks or anything like that. Uh, the piece up here is not really rubber, it's very plastic-like. But I am looking for this piece right here, the back piece, where you have the headband part that uh, really ties up. I didn't notice until the very last minute, but I still gave him a good home. But he seems a little bit skinnier in his costume. So tell me what you uh, guys think about this. I mean, seriously. Oh, of course, I forgot to mention his uh, front shell. Very rubber like. He easily squeeze in. Now, you can do that with the shell part. So, yeah, tell me what do you guys think about this character of Michelangelo? Did you like him like that? You thought he was a little bit annoying? I thought Michelangelo in the 2K3 was a little bit cocky because he was this big ego on him. Before the battle fight, but um, yeah, tell me guys what do you guys think about this? Seriously, um, the movements is pretty simple, just your head tilt. It doesn't have the ball part like the two, the 2012 one, you know, it doesn't squirrel around. It's typical left and right movements. And of course, you can see the joints right here. I yeah, just could go out like that. Uh -huh. Movement goes down. His uh, wrist moves. His elbow moves. Uh, yeah, his elbow moves. And over here. His elbow moves over here. Also. So does his hand. This would have been probably if I actually got a piece of it. 
Uh, the leg just does this, doesn't do anything else, does not bend at the knees. As you can see. So that's pretty much all the movements. We don't get much movements like the 212 or 2012 ones. But, uh, I like it. I really dig it. I thought it was funny how he's trying to be a superhero. Because, you know, when we're kids, we all want to be a superhero and come up with some cool, uh, you know, cool costumes. And that's why I could relate to Michelangelo right here. Uh, the differences with the belt part and the original belt is that the belt right here is a light brown color compared to the other um, turtle belt in the 2K version. But as you can see, it's very, uh, very rubbery and loose. Somebody asked what the holes are for. If you haven't watched my other reviews, I will say again, the, the holes are for, uh, in case uh, there's a vehicle that needs to stand them up, you just place it right there and then he won't fall off. But there's no vehicles for him. But pretty sure you can put in any other vehicles if you want. So, uh... As you can see, the standing is not pro is not too much of a problem or a big deal to send him up perfectly. Does it but easily by himself. All right, so that's my little review on Turtle Titan. I can't believe I almost said Team Titans. <laughs> Should be ashamed for saying that. But um, tell me what you guys think about this. I mean, this, do you think this character is really cool? What Michelangelo just did, you know become a superhero, which is not really super, he's just a regular hero in, in disguise. So uh, until then, people, take care of yourself, and happy hunting, everyone. Alright, so it's eBay time, and what we got right here is Snake Week, back to stock my little head, and of course the other ones is face, uh, Fish Face, Dog Pound, and a uh, new version of Metalhead. Still in a package though, this guy wants for $124.99. Uh, there's a red star, so he's not doing too too much. But, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see it by now. I don't know. Uh, I guess he's a best seller, but I don't know. Sorry. For this much, I wouldn't pay for that much. I don't care what you need to do for a living or whatsoever, but, um, if you want to make a fair price, make a fair price that will equal with a store because I looked at the math I, I add them up together and came out all together $48 uh, I didn't do the tax part yet so I don't know what do you guys think about this I mean is this cuckoo just a little bit crazy I mean you can get this in stores I mean yeah these three are freaking hard to find which we already know but they're like $8 per, um, per set um, good for another country, it's like, was it $16? No, at least it's $12 per set. And still, you won't come up with that much money. I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? Put your comments down. Am I wrong, or is this the correct number? I mean, what do you guys think about this?